that there could have, couldn't have been an infinite past. There needed to be a starting point. And we couldn't, and the starting point couldn't have had a cause. Why? It needed to be a first cause. It couldn't be anything other than uncaused. You know why that is? Because if it kept on going backwards into the past, we would never have a present moment. So therefore, there needs to be, the fact that we're having a conversation right now is proof that there's no infinite regress and that's absurd. And therefore, there needs to be a first uncaused cause. Did God cause that first cause? Though? No, there's, there's no, so the first cause is God. It's an uncaused cause. It could never be caused. It's a something in philosophy called necessary existence. Okay. It means it couldn't have been any other way. It exists in all possible universes. So did God create the Big Bang? Yes, of course. How? God created it. What's the, yeah, what's so, the issue? So, so, An all-powerful being can't create a Big Bang from from nothing. He willed it, and he and it, and it happened. What's the problem with that? So what do you think? Comes down to personal experience. Like, I understand what you're saying. Mm. I respect your beliefs, but mm. you shouldn't therefore like argue with us for how we believe. Because I haven't had a personal experience with God. If I saw mm. God over there, I'd, be, I'd completely I'd be like, oh yeah, well, all right, I believe mm. it. But because I haven't had a personal experience, mm. I don't think that it's right for me to say I'm religious. And I can't. Whatever you say to me, mm. I won't agree with because I've not had that experience. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd kind of give you pushback on the fact that religion is just a religious experience. So I'd I say to you. Had a religious experience. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I agree. I'm saying that I'm affirming you. That's very, it's very possible that you did not have a religious experience. I'm saying you don't need to wait for a religious experience to become religious. You also have other faculties by which you could become religious. One of them is your mind. So if you, are, you one day are presented with a, an argument that gives you good reason to believe in God, then you should accept it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I was trying to do with this brother here. I'm trying to tell him, look, you, you're, selling, you're telling me that science was the reason that you did not believe in God. I'm telling you that I'm waiting for you to give me this argument that shows that science somehow does not give us God. I'm telling you that, look, the fact that we're having a present conversation right now in the present is proof that there's no infinite regress of past causes. And there needs to be one uncaused cause that brought all of this about. It doesn't matter how. I don't need to be a scientist about the Big Bang. All I need to know is understand the simple logic that me and you could comprehend, yeah, with our minds. There needs to be a first uncaused cause. Why does it? Come on. Wait, don't get into the conversation. Come on. So tell me, I'm waiting for it. What's the, re what's the um, scientific argument that was like, oh, I, now I can't believe in God? You have proved a good point to me. Yeah. We're not speaking about... Sorry to interrupt. So, uh, we're, we're speaking about, our, uh, he's an atheist and he's, he at first, maybe he takes it back now, at first he was saying that uh, scientific like, um, you know, in inquiry was that what led him to be an atheist and I told him there's no scientific argument to, to, that will lead you that way. In fact, that the fact that we're having a present conversation is proof that God exists. So yeah, go on. I don't mean to interrupt you. Go on. Carry on. Mm. Like, no, or let us let us finish and then we'll have a conversation like, as well. How would you explain that, like, mm. he created everything in, like, 10 days? You're not in need... Uh, uh, here's what I'll tell you, bro. You don't need to explain that. All you need to do is yeah. figure out whether this God exists or not. Because that's our conversation right now, right? Yeah. You said, it, I think you at first said you were a little bit undecided. Yeah. So the question is, can we use our mind to reach a conclusion that God does exist? Mm. So that's all I'm asking you. Tony, don't butt in. We're, let, let, let us finish yeah, the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, can we, can we so go on. So now I'm asking you: It does that make it, does that make logical and rational sense to you? Yeah, but you you can't just say that God exists and then that means that everything He did automatically happened. Like so we're not we're not saying that. All I want to right now establish with you is to move you away from agnosticism through a, an argument that is reasoned, that is logically sound, that you could understand and accept. The fact that we're having a conversation right now tells us what? There couldn't have been infinite number of past instances. The past needed to have a beginning. Think of a sniper, yeah? You know in the movies when there's a sniper and he's about to take a shot and he has an earpiece and he's asked his commander, he's like, do I have the right to shoot? If that commander had a commander and that commander had a commander and this infinite chain of command went backwards infinitely, would the sniper ever take the shot? Well, no, but... Why? Because it goes on forever. Because it goes on forever backwards. The command to shoot will never come back down the chain. So the fact that there's a present moment right now between me and you having this conversation is proof that the past doesn't infinitely go backwards. 
it stops at one point, it began, and we are here right is, now. Isn't that point the Big Bang, where this world was created, or, or my birth, or your birth? No, that's a material point. So that's where materiality got, but what brought about the Big Bang? That's the thing, and the Big Bang well, was not uncaused. Well, physics. So yeah, what brought about the laws of physics? Where yeah. The universe comes from. I made it if you will. Think about it. Bro, think about it. Have you ever seen a law without a lawmaker? Have you ever just seen a... Oh, no, no, let, let him just ponder on that thought. Where do you think the universe came from? Charlie, try get How would I what? How would you answer that question? What, where the universe came from? Yeah. Well, Come back to you. I'm not, I'm not sciencey enough to explain it. But I'm not, need to we don't, I'm we're not, not asking you to be sciencey. Oh, it doesn't exist. I'm just, no, but you know that the universe exists, right? Yeah. So the question, like, if I ask you where did you come from, you probably say my parents, yes? So everything has a cause, yes? Whether it's you, whether it's me, whether it's the mountains, whether it's the entire universe. So the question that you need to ask yourself is, where did all this come from? What is the first thing that comes to your mind? Anyone, well, anyone. I don't think it comes to You were saying it, it doesn't have to be a start point, apparently, about the science behind it. But if, yeah, but that's, that's, well, pseudo, no that's not science. That's yeah, like, that's a cutting edge that science. That is pseudoscience. What, science what tells mean? us. Pseudoscience, pseudoscience means fake science. Means how do you know, how do you know it's fake science? science? Because the scientists, the real scientists tell us. The Nobel winning scientists. It doesn't matter. 13. Uh, uh, you know, there's a Nobel laureate called Francis Crick. You know what he believes? He believes that aliens brought us about. So just because you have a Nobel. Uh, he has no proof for it. What, what's, yeah, your, you what's your proof? proof? And it, no, no, yeah. that's the thing. All I've been giving you right now is philosophical proofs. No, no, but the thing is... Philosophy isn't proof, isn't it? It's yeah, an idea. No, no, no. That is... Who told you that? That's, that's, what, that's what I think. Yeah. That's my... Philosophy I don't know. I'm not, so, do I'm you know... That's why there's so many different ones of them. Because we, yeah, yeah. if we were it's, able to prove that one philosophy exists, what would be the point in our... So, yeah, exactly, why is there exactly. then so many scientific theories about a lot of things? Just because there's a lot yeah. of theories doesn't mean something's not to, true. They're trying to find the facts. Okay, so that's what philosophers do. You know science, all of but it is based on... you have the fact, not finding the fact. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, for example, do you know that... Uh, all of science, all of it, is based on the philosophy of science. So if you reject philosophy, you can't take science. I'm not rejecting it, I'm just saying there's different ideas about the same thing. No, it's not, I'm not, yeah, yeah okay, so, are, so that's different, different theories are, there about there the same thing. different models to yeah. the same thing. Yeah. But there are certain models which are more accepted than the others. Exactly. Right now, the most accepted model is, and, the, is okay. the Big Bang Theory. So, and all religions trying to prove the same thing. So is there an no, no, accepted here, model? Not, right now, we're not talking about religion, we're talking about the cause and effect. No, I was trying to talk about religion there. So do you do you actually believe in God? I don't know. You I don't. don't. So no. what do you So I talk about religion? religion, yeah. I'm just interested in it. I'm not allowed to talk. So no no no, I'm not no, saying you are, you are, but yeah. we are jumping like from one topic to another. Okay. It's like no, putting the car one. it's like putting the car before those because yeah, you know why religion what is religion, yeah? Religion religion Yeah, no no, no he's, he's, we're not talking he's, science, Tony, so there's no way we could remiss the philosophy of science. I heard you say No no philosophy of science is not science. So I'm not misrepresenting science. Oh why? Why are you putting that guy? Yeah, just seriously Tony, it's just Bro, the reason why I told you you're putting the cart before the horse is because there's no, there's no point, there's no point that of talking about religion before we talk about whether God exists. Why? Because religion, what is religion? It's a conception of God and it's a way to live your life according to God. If you don't even believe in God yet, we're talking, we're putting the cart before the horse. So that's why we're trying to, he, this brother here, he's saying he's not sure about whether God exists. You said uh, earlier, I think that you said you're an atheist. So it's more beneficial. It makes more sense. It's actually the better route to first establish whether God exists or not and where this world came from. And then we could talk about which religion is right. Okay. You know what I mean? Wasn't religion first like, made to for try and control people? Like, for more important people in society to control Poor people, like look at Victorian What society. controls you today? You don't My need brain. to be religious. Well, no, no. What? no, well, no, but... No, no, you're, you're, an irreligious, you're an irreligious person. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you controlled by your government and all its laws? Yeah, but the government's not a religion. I don't know what you're trying to say. No, I'm trying to show you that everything, all, all of ideology and all of structures control people. It's nothing specific to religion. No, but wasn't religion created to try and control people? Was no. That? no, no but you don't, you that's don't an assumption, that's my religion. point. The human race yeah. Before, like, yeah, the religion. human race was before religion. Like, I mean, like, yeah. not, no, I mean, why would you say that? Because it's true. What do you mean? Because when the first that? people came like, around, there wasn't the all your religions. You no, of course there was. Yeah. No, there wasn't. So this, of course. That, like, when people first came around, you said yeah. there's all... So, no, how? What, were, what, what do you think? Where, where, first of all, who are the first people? The Neanderthals. No, they're not. <laughs> well, who are the first people then? Adam. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Yeah. 
Really? Yeah. yeah. Even if they don't have a religion. So, they do you believe the story about the rib and how? Yes. The, uh, wait. So you think? That you think? Authority. Wait. I don't want to interrupt. Didn't, them. One second. One second. Let's not interrupt them. You talking about how he made Eve? No. You're trying to. You wait. You're telling me that the God who created all of the cosmos can't create a woman out of a rib. What about the evolution of evolution? Well, of what about evolution? No, no, let's, let's not jump too many topics. So, yeah, yeah, okay, what, what, you know, earlier I asked you the question, where did the universe come from? What is your answer to that? The universe, the, the Big Bang, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Okay. You don't need but to be. I've got the physics. You, you don't need to be. He's, he's got the physics, yeah, he can, no, he can come in. No, but I got the, the physics. Thing, the thing is... I have he, the physics here. You don't believe okay. in the physics, Tony. I have the physics. Tony, you, you don't, don't believe, believe in the physics. physics. I totally have the physics, okay? <laughs> because I can quote to you at least 15 Nobel Prize winning physicists who do uh, believe you know no that the universe, it's... who do believe... I've got the list, Albert Einstein, Stephen Weinberg, Richard so, Feynman... Well, what, are they, what, what are you Penrose, trying to prove? I can quote from them and what they yes. believe. The, and I'm not saying they're right, let me be clear. I'm mm. not saying you guys are wrong. You guys may be right. Mm. And I have a respect for your religion and for the pillars and the ethics. So I'm not coming mm. here to damn a religion, but I do mm. think it's important to be honest. Mm. And I'm being as honest as I can about looking at hard facts. And when there's enough... Nobel Prize winning physicists who say it's credible that matter and energy always existed. I, as somebody who isn't an expert in the field, should give them some credence and admit the reality is the jury is out on this topic. So although it's possible you guys are right and maybe in the beginning there was nothing, there was a big bang, you may be correct, but to represent things fairly to an audience, it seems there is a body of opinion within the Nobel Prize winning communities and I can quote you here if opinion. you like. So I like, I, and I like that it was a body of opinion, not a consensus like last opinion, time. Opinion, which is a yeah. Yours yeah, yeah, yeah. is an opinion as well. Between no, no, no. you and me. Yes, yes. Yes. In science there's something called opinion, Of course it's opinion. Of course yeah. there's something called a theory. Opinion. Yeah, but okay. you realize all of these are, hy are, 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 are opinions. It's opinion, it's Naturally. not even a theory. I'm not yeah. suggesting they're okay. not. There's nothing proven. So it doesn't matter how many Nobel Prize the people who are the, I'm, yeah. As long as there's an opinion in science, the people who are that the is still a work in progress. Couldn't it be argued that you're... I'm no, no, that's still a work in progress. I'm not representing... That's what an opinion means. Science totally understands. But anyway, look, if you're going to bring opinions in science, then you could you could say... what I told you, France. Francis, Francis Crick's opinion is that we were seeded by aliens. So, he, and, he's he a a Nobel Laureate, and he's a Nobel Laureate, exactly. Nobel Prize winner. Right. So opinions can go. To prove that all, <laughs> anyway. all Nobel no, no, no. Laureates are accurate. No, 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 no. It goes to prove that for every human, there's an opinion. And for every scientist, there's an opinion. It doesn't matter. You don't live, we don't live our lives based on opinions. When yes, you're studying a, su a subject, a, a yes. scientific subject, a logical subject, yes. a subject which is based in logic, yeah. you look to the alleged experts in the field. Now, I pick sure. these people as the experts in the field because they won Nobel well, Prizes. So it's, and so it's, so it's Francis Crick, right? Yeah, he's, he's an expert. Well, no, no, and they yeah. make mistakes, everybody does. Okay, cool. But, but they can the, make fact mistakes that, well. the fact that these scientists have produced aeroplanes that flies, right. yeah, yeah, using yeah. Newtonian physics. You know what's... Habibi, yes. we have to go for Maghrib? Yes. The young people yes. have gone. I know. So I think... Tony, you know, but... Let's so we'll end on this, bro. You know, like let me tell you this. No, you know Newton, Isaac Newton. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. We used, we used. Are you, are you accepting my general thesis that if I'm giving you a list of names here? I'm accepting. Hawking, I'm accepting Penrose, that I have to go pray Maghrib. It's an opinion. You're accepting. <laughs> Tony's all opinion. I'm accepting <laughs> that I have to go pray Maghrib. How good Thank are you for reminding me. How much until they go, oh, until the risk the theory is an opinion. Of what a, Brian Cox, Sean Carroll, Roger H. Doesn't matter. Opinion is an opinion. In science, in science it's an opinion. If you want to live your life ignoring the experts in the field, and burying your head in the sand, yo, nice having a conversation with you. And if you're, my name is Ismail, by the way, or Ishmael, whatever his thing. And that uh, is good meeting you, bro. What's your name? Bead. Deed? Bead. Oh, Bead. Yeah. Okay, good to meet you. Ismail, bro. Come back to the park. Tony kind of interrupted, but... You could, I, I don't mind you trying to get on the Anyway, where are you going? Is that finished? Only does it opinions. That's not, that's not proof of anything. No facts. No facts. No facts.